names up to be honest with you. I know that they're in the group Dean Squad. So basically, if they were there, oh, bro, I would, I would have had a field day, bro. I would have gone up to him. But I love confrontation. They were all into me. Yeah, yeah. That was, I was so shocked, bro. Like, I was looking at the guys on stage. I don't know who they were. And I was listening. And, the, and it was literally like a concert, yeah? And it was like going... And I was like going to myself, what the? And I thought Canada was like England. So when I went to that event, Rav, yeah, I don't even remember what it was called. I was like, what? Like, I was like to myself, what is <laughs> happening here, guys? And I went and performed and I thought to myself, I looked at the audience and I thought, what is happening, bruv? <laughs> Bro, it's this, I'm black and white. It's my Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and his messenger, Muhammad sallallahu oh, alayhi wa sallam, oh, told oh. me to stay away from instruments. I'll stay away from it. You cannot tell me anything otherwise, my brother. No scholar. Yeah, no scholar is bigger than the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yeah. So, Brother Isa, how's the, how's the this Ramadan and uh, how's Eid? Bro, do you know what? It was really strange, man, because um, in England here, we've got quite a bit of a, a lockdown, even though the government here, subhanAllah, they don't have a clue what they're doing. Uh, but it's been a, it's been a lockdown, but my mum is high risk, for example, right? Yes. So um, I've been extra cautious for my mum uh, because my mum is, uh, subhanAllah, like in her 70s, mashallah. SubhanAllah, SubhanAllah. And uh, actually recently in November, she had a respiratory condition happen to her in America. She was Love there at my sister's. So then obviously this disease, they're saying it's quite bad for people who've got, you know, heart condition or mm-hmm. respiratory condition or breathing problem. So bro, mm-hmm. me, my wife, my kids and my mum have not left my house in 12 weeks, bro. SubhanAllah. It has been a madness, bro. I'm going, I'm going crazy, bro. They basically sent a text message. They called her yeah. and said, uh, you know, bro, even though they called my mom like, I'm not even going to lie, bro. They called my mom eight weeks into the thing. <laughs> and we were like, okay, thank you for that, guys. Uh, so, uh, but alhamdulillah, but we obviously took the initiative, you know. Yeah. I did. And, you know, we kept, bro, I don't think I have been in my house for this long consistently ever in my life. But you know what, bro? Ultimately, we look at it and we say, alhamdulillah, you know. Because yes. we, still, we still have all the privileges that yeah. only that only a few percent of the people in the world have. Yeah. And it really sums up things, you know. And uh, Especially us guys, you know, I'm in England, you're in Canada. Like, you know, we've got, sh- I'm sure you get like internet shopping, right? You get, yes, exactly, sh- yeah. exactly. We don't need to leave at all, bro. Like, alhamdulillah. Yeah. And, and there's brothers and sisters out there who, don't have that same situation, right? Yeah. And they're in, they, they, they got much harder. So, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always says in the Quran that, you know, be a grateful servant, you know? And, and a grateful servant is a blessed servant. So, bro, yeah. alhamdulillah, jokes mm-hmm. aside, jokes aside, it's been tough, but alhamdulillah, you know, at the end of the day. And Ramadan, Ramadan was blessed, but the only thing we missed was the masjids, yeah. you know, subhanAllah. And, you know, the brotherhood, you know, uh, for me, bro, Ramadan is always a time to come together with my, my friends and, you know, iftar and, Whenever, whenever I'm, I'm not working, mm. they'll come over and we'll have, just have a good time, alhamdulillah. And that was what was missing as well. But, you know, bro, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us many, 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 many Amen. more Ramadans, inshallah. Amen. How's it in Canada? How's it in Canada? Very, very similar to yours, uh, brother Umar. Wallahi, it was like, even like, I, I, subhanAllah, five years ago, like, obviously, I started taking the deen more seriously when I was like, I think so, 18, 19, subhanAllah, right? I started to you know, read the Quran and everything. So, you know, obviously, slowly, slowly, you build a connection with the scholars, the imams and stuff. So it's kind of hard now not seeing them and the brothers in the masjid. It's it's very tough. With loud, like, uh, but, uh, you know, alhamdulillah, like you, like you said, you know, within the hardship, alhamdulillah, Allah makes ease. Like, I just asked you how you, when you came to the saga and you had your event two years ago, right? And I was, the reason why I was so shocked is because, like, I told my friends that I'm like, I'm, we're gonna go see Brother Uma Isa. And I was trying to actually come to the back to say salam to you, but I couldn't because, like, uh, I don't know, the brothers, they didn't let people go from their area. But uh, before you, were, like, obviously, I came a little earlier, so there was people that went before you. And I recall there was a guy, brother named, uh, you know, Khalid, JD, uh, the, the DD squad, and all, all these people. So I was like, subhanAllah, when I was just there, and I'm like, you know, the thing is, like, they went, they went, they went, they went there that year. They, they weren't there, there, there. I think there was another brother then. I forgot his name. But he was not like... The, not, the, not the year that I was at. Because, uh, to be honest with you, I did a... 
when I did the, uh, I did a track like, you know, like a, a countering um, these brothers, right? From yeah. Dean Squad. I don't know what their names are, to be honest with you. I know that they're in the group Dean Squad. So basically, if they were there, oh, bro, I would, I would have had a field day, bro. I would have gone up to them, chatted to them, like on brothers, you know, at the end of the day, because I know that, um, you know, um, they probably would have been upset. So they've been actually, you know, bro, look, I'm from a, I'm a very, I'm a very, I've come from a very bad path. Like, yeah. subhanAllah, my upbringing, yeah, my mom and dad blessed them, bro, yeah. But my upbringing has been crazy. My mom and dad were the only sane things in my life, bro. They were the only wow. normal thing in my life. So I've come from an upbringing where, bro, to be very honest with you, I know this is going to sound a bit crazy, mm -hmm. but I love confrontation. I yeah. actually get a little bit of a butterflies in my stomach. I get a bit excited you get when a confrontation happens. Yeah, I love it. But it's a bit crazy. But obviously now I'm not like how I used to be. But uh, yeah, they weren't, they weren't there. But I, I'm so sorry. Uh, continue your story. No, I was saying that that there were I I forgot exactly who were the people, they, but they were obviously to get to the bottom line, they had were using mu musical instruments. They were all so, using musical instruments. Yeah, yeah. That was I was so shocked, bro. Like when I came through to that event, yeah, uh, the the organizers were blessed, bro. My shout out to I remember one brother. I can't remember his name, but he was like the my I don't I don't know wrong. I don't want to use this word in disrespect, but chaperone, not chaperone, but somebody who was escorting me to the hotel and to the venue. But he was a very good brother, mashallah, like really down to earth brother. And uh, I don't even remember meeting the main organizers, bro, because what I did was, yeah, I landed on that day. Yeah. yeah. I landed on that day. I went to do a sound check, bro. I went to my room. I tried to sleep, I couldn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> then I went to perform, bro. And I went to perform. And before I went on, bro, mm. I was looking at the guys on stage. I don't know who they were. And I was listening, and, the, and it was literally like a concert, yeah? And it was like going, and I was like, going to myself, what the? Like, I was very baffled because, bro, I was shocked because I had a perception, yeah, mm -hmm. of, of I, listen, you know, America, yeah? America is yeah. a different ballgame. In America, uh, Masha'a Tawaika, the Muslim brothers and sisters are, 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 are blessed, they, they, but they're very, they're very liberal, right? So in England, right, we're quite conservative. Yeah. But we're sometimes too conservative. And in, 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 in America, they're sometimes too liberal. Yeah. So if I, I always say this about the American Muslims, I say they're so blessed, yeah? Because if they step one, two steps back, they'll be falling in line with the beautiful place in Islam. You know, they'll be in there. And I thought Canada was like England. Mm -hmm. So when I went to that event, Rav, yeah, I don't even remember what it was called. I was like, what? Like, I was like to myself, what is <laughs> happening here, cuz? And I went and performed and I thought to myself, I looked at the audience and I thought, what is happening, bruv? And then um, I performed and I, 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 with me, I never, ever stay at events. And it's not because of, it's not out of ego, by the way. It's not, yeah. oh, because I don't want to see anybody perform. It's for my own sake. Because yeah. I, when I was growing up doing music, when I was doing music in the mainstream game, I had a very big ego. Like I was always like thinking I'm the best at this and no one's better than me. And my head was huge. I was egotistical. And I don't want that to creep in my heart. It does, to be honest with you, it does. That's yeah, not it does, the yeah. problem. Yeah, so for me, I just leave. And also, to be very honest with you, bro, I am so against instruments and beatboxes, yeah? Now, look, 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 look let me clarify. I love the brothers who do... I love the brothers themselves who yeah. do instruments and beatboxing. I love them. They're my brothers. I swear down, they're my brothers. We know, we know what that, that connection... I love them for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them every happiness Ameen, and the Ameen. best piety, like... like Ever, right? I mean, mm -hmm. right? And give them a long, happy life. I mean, but I hate what they do. Yes. I hate what they do with extreme passion. And sometimes that's too, that goes against me, bro. Like, yeah. I have spoken out sometimes to the extent where people will start literally a war against me, not a yeah. war against me, but invisibly, like with, with organizers, they'll say certain things about me, they'll blacklist me, you know, they'll, they'll be like this and that, that. And you know what I mean, bro? I've kind of like made a decision now where I've decided to myself that unless it's not necessary yes. for me to be in an, at an event with somebody who uses instruments or be, and I mean necessary, what I mean by this is that if the event is purely, purely a beatboxing and instrument event, I'll be there. I'll tell you why, because that is when I can penetrate the hearts of the audience. Yes. But, but now if it's an event, which is mostly for vocal people, and there's a beatboxers or uh, instrument guys playing the instruments or beatboxing. Um, 
I'm, I'm, I've, I've made a decision that I'm not going to turn up to the events. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even going to let my management book me for events like that because yeah. my bro, I can't partake in something where something where because bro, it plays with me, man. It plays with me a lot, you know. Plays with my heart, bro. Brother, is it uh, like you know? Just talking on this topic, you know, there are certain like there is one brother. He is from my area, like uh, he's from Canada. I think so. He's from uh, Montreal. This brother, and he uses like he claims to use vocals, right? And he's he's very big. If I say his name, you, I think you would know him because he travels all around the world. But he uses vocals. But if you listen to the vocals, they sound exactly like music. One cannot tell if they're. But he says they're vocals. Like in, in the title, he will say vocals only. And once I think so, someone sent me a video of his, and I tried to listen to it. I'm like, what? What is? Is this a joke? It sounds exactly like music. Even like how, yeah, yeah. Like if there's drill beats. Like I'm, I'm talking. I'm remembering from my jahiliya. But like when they were drill beats, they used to have this sound, right? He's able to make that all, all of that with his, with his mouth. Allah alam. I don't know how, but it exactly sounds like and feels like music. You know? Yeah, but the, the, but but the problem is, bro. I ultimately don't even blame the brother. I, I know who you're talking about, by yeah. the way. Um, I don't even ultimately, ultimately even I don't blame that brother. Uh, because at the end of the day, you blame the audience. Yes, yes, sir. That's true. Because if he's got people who are listening to him, then that vindicates him. Mm-hmm. That gives him a feeling of, yeah, you know, I'm getting booked by these organizers, so I'm, I, I should be doing good and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And, and at the end of the day, bro, listen, if you've got a say in the beginning of your track, no musical instruments were used, and it yeah. was only vocals, you have to really question yourself. Why are you saying that for? Why mm-hmm. is there a disclaimer there? Yeah. Am I gonna am I gonna give you a disclaimer before you come into my house? This is a Muslim's house. Am I gonna am I gonna put something on my forehead that oh hi I'm a Muslim by the way, or are, are, are you know it's, it, it, I mean it goes against everything that we say. Like look listen my bro look, look this yeah. is the question. Whoever Allah Subhanahu wa Taala gets this video that we're doing to right, yes. the, the 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 point is this: we love the brothers, but we don't love the sin, exactly. right? Exactly. We, have, I, have I been paused? I wasn't, no. I wasn't paused there, was I? No, no, I heard. I heard everything you said. Yes, we love the brothers. So, yes. Yeah, but we don't. But we don't love. We don't. I don't. I don't love what they do. And I tell you what, bro. Yeah. Beatboxing, technically, my bro. Technically speaking, right? It's fine. Mm-hmm. Let this just go. Let's let, let's play with this for a second. Technically, it's fine because it's vocals. Oh, and if wow. it's vocals, bro, you can. I can, bro. You know my vocal, yeah. I can make a violin sound. I can make a, a bass sound. Well, bass is obviously on the track uh, or the bottom thing, right? But now, l- let me give you an example, bro. Now, if I said to you, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and I know there's people who are much more. Not, listen, I'm a normal brother. I'm not. Uh, I'm a student of Islam. Yes. I'm not uh, a person of. I'm not an alim. I'm not a scholar. I'm a Muslim brother who's learning the religion. But ultimately, there's people much more. So they will probably they can they'll probably refute what I'm going to say. But mm-hmm. I'm going to try to. Um, express what I mean about beatboxing, for example, right? Technically, let's say it's fine. Okay, fine. So, is now let me ask you a question, Saad. Yeah. Yeah. Is interest haram? Yes, it is. Okay, ribas haram. Right? Okay, but I'm going to tell you something, bro. I bought a house, yeah. But guess what? My friends, 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 friend got the interest out for me. I've got nothing to do with it. But I live in the house and I pay him the money. Is that okay for me to do that? Uh, that is. So 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 okay okay okay. Wait, so if I yeah. this interested see 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 I see how technical it is. Okay, cool. You got me on that. I'm one. gonna break it. Okay, cool. So, interest is haram, right? Yes, it is. But I say to my friend, I said to my friend, I said, bro, get your friend. Okay, let me do, let me make it easier so it doesn't confuse anybody. <laughs> I say to my friend, my I go to my friend, I go, my bro. You know your cousin who I don't know at all? Yeah. Can you tell them to get me a mortgage? Right? Mm-hmm. But I don't want to be involved in the interest. So, but they'll buy it for me. So technically, I didn't get the interest. Is that, is, would that be permissible in Islam? No, that can't. Because I'm still making someone else do a sin, which yeah. I'm saying that I'm free from it because I didn't take it. Yes. Does that make sense? That's yeah. like a drug dealer saying, that's like a drug dealer saying, which they do say, by the way, Muslim, some unfortunate our Muslim brothers say this, well, I'm dealing to non-Muslims. Uh, I'm not dealing to Muslims. I mean, how ridiculous yeah. is that, bro? Like, you know, at the end of the day, like, that is so ridiculous. It's kind of like, kind of like you rob a bank and then you want to build a measure with the same money you robbed, the, you got the money. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Now, obviously, I am not equating beatboxing to interest because interest is a major haram, right? Yeah. I'm giving an example that 
my bro, we can, okay, we can do anything then, which where we can say, well, technically it's all right. Now, bro, let me yeah. tell you, in the Quran, that Allah SWT say that we can't have um, uh, um, intercourse via FaceTime. No, no, Allah did not mention. Allah SWT did not technically say that we can have, a sp you know, I'm not, I don't want to use the word because it's a thing, but, you know, a phone, in, in, you know how people do like, on the phone, you know, whatever, you know, people do speak illicitly, disgustingly on the phone with their girlfriend or boyfriend. Did, yeah. did we, were we told you can't do that? No, but we were told not to even go near that because not to go near Zina. Yes? That's right, that's right. Yeah. But we're not near it, are we? Because that person might be in America. Yeah. I'm true. in England. Yeah. So we're not, technically, we're not really near it. We're just, we're just speaking. I'm not doing anything. Yeah. Does that make sense? Now, but we know it's, we, but, but me and you and every Muslim out there with any brain knows that's haram. That's haram, yes. We can't do that. But technically, if you want to go, let's go to the technical police. Yeah? We go back, technically, Akhi. This, yeah, but it doesn't, come on, bro, don't be ridiculous. Let's, let's really not play with our religion. Yes. My cool. thing, my bro, is this, yeah, is that I'm too real for my own good. If I was a networker, like Drake, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, <laughs> if I was a, if I, if I jumped on every bandwagon, yeah, like, you know, like I said, your, your fellow Canadian there, I'd be, a, I'd be the most liked machine artist in the world. Very because true. I would be, yeah, but bro, that's impossible because, we as Muslims, bro, we have to be honest, mm. but in a good way, not in a not in a flipping tyrant, tyr tyrannical way. Yeah. We have to be good in an Islamic way. We have to be respectful to each other. We have to love each other. Now, everybody who uses beatboxing, who I've ever met, by the way, are if you ever speak to them, ask them. Did Omar Issa ever say to your face that I don't agree with beatboxing? By the way, so we can have a conversation. But I'm telling you, I don't agree with it. You know what they'll say? Yes, he did. Because I don't hide from none of them. Because at the end of the day, they respect you more. Yeah. Because as I said, I love the brothers, but I don't love what they do. Yeah. And that's true love. Yeah, that's true love. Yeah. You're looking out for the yeah. hereafter. Yeah, but at the end of the day, my bro, look. <coughs> Everybody, whoever just goes to whatever happens, if you are truly, truly seeking for the truth, truly looking for the truth when it comes mm -hmm. to beatboxing or instruments, right? Ask yourself this simple question. If you and your friends were listening to that music or whatever you want to call it, and you heard that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi was around Allah. the corner and he was just about to come near your part, your group, what would you do? You would turn that off, bro. You would very turn that practical, off. Smile, if, very practical if, example. In, in fact, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi would hear it and, and to turn away. Because yes. we know we know in, in, in his life that happened on two occasions. We yeah, he put happened. his finger. Yeah. Yeah, that was one. But the time when he was going to a party and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him fall asleep in the desert. Yes, yes. And then he woke up and it was, the sun was beaming on him. And the other time was when he went to a wedding and yeah. as the music, and then he fell asleep and he woke up and everyone had gone. Yeah. And then obviously this time when he covered his ear, the Sahaba said there was a time he covered his ear. Yeah. And you know the interesting thing here is that people argue with that case, by the way. People go, Oh, 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 do you know what, you know, by the way, this story was uh, told by uh, Abdullah Umar, like, uh, like he told the story that, you know, he heard the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu did this, oh, right? so it wasn't the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu didn't actually tell this story, that like, he didn't actually say that, oh, I, you know, when it came one, I covered my ears and I didn't tell my Sahaba to cover his ears. Now, you know that hadith that lots of music people and beatboxers use that for their favor, but I go the other way, because they go, oh yeah, if the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu didn't tell the Sahaba to cover his, cover his ears, Right? Mm. Look at that. Now, let me break it down. Let me break it down, Aki. There's probably, there could be, there could be two other reasons why the Prophet didn't do so, it. Awesome. Because one, the Sahaba was a minor, was a child. Or two, the Sahaba, he wanted the Sahaba to let him know that when it stopped. Because yeah. otherwise they'll both be in the wilderness with their ear, hands in their ears. Mm -hmm. You get me? And, yeah. and, and at the end of the day, like, like, like and, and, and people really use that. But who do we follow, the Sahaba or the Prophet? Prophet Sahasan. So, I, so I, I don't know how that is even an art, how that is even an argument. But again, my bro, there are alims out there who will probably destroy me in this argument, bro. But you know what, bro? My heart tells me that. At the end of the day, I know we have to look for Sharia. Our hearts are nothing when it comes to you know a proper Islamic knowledge. We know that, bro. We're not. We're, I'm not. In the, I'm not in denial. I'm not going to mm -hmm. argue with the Muhaddis. Am I for goodness sake? You know, I'll be an ignorant guy to argue with the Muhaddis, right? But now, for example, my bro, is this? I'm black and white. If my Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told me 
to stay away from instruments, I'll stay away from it. You cannot tell me anything otherwise, my brother. You're no scholar. Yeah, no scholar is bigger than the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi yeah. wasallam. And wallahi, my bro, people have to understand. I, I proper love my brothers who do that, man. Like, I love them. I just want everybody to do voice only, man, so we can work together, Bro so we can make our industry huge. Brother Omar, you I would the same. Uh, it's kind of very similar to even my thought process because I'll be real with you. Five years ago, you know, like Alhamdulillah, I, I feel like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides you to Islam. You slowly, slowly learn. So I kept, my big passion was, yani, I, you know, growing up, we, we, our fathers and our parents, they send us to Madrasa. You read the Quran, you do the Nadra, you, you read it in Arabic. But the thing is, I never knew the meaning behind what I was reading in Arabic. So when, once I was obviously going through life and whatever, so one idea came in my mind. I'm like, you know what, let me, let me see what the Quran says. So I'm like, but I don't want to read the Arabic, I want to read the English. I, I want to just search up the English. So I remember searching up online, English PDF Quran, right? Anything, I, th I think it was by Abdul Halim or, you know, any of the translators in the English. So I started reading, subhanAllah, I remember Surah Baqarah. This is the book we have revealed to you, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, without no, which, in which there is no doubt. As I was reading this, you know, Allah questions you, you know, like, so subhanAllah, like, we're told to think. Don't you think, don't you ponder, don't you see? Right? Have you no sense? So as I was reading this, I used to get so like sometimes, you know, like I would be on the bus. I would sometimes read even like two, three, four line, lines, right? And it would hit me in so much in my heart. I had to close the app. I would have to be like, okay, the rest I'm going to go home and read because I just need one-on-one -on -one time with this. Because so wow. it's such a such a powerful kalam. And obviously, as I was, you know, then you have to now slowly, slowly, you, re you learn that you also have to read, look more into the sirah, the sunnah. Music was the thing, okay, as I was changing my life, Music was this thing, I was just be with you, I was still keeping by my side. Yeah. But then I came across the hadith, and these are clear cut in Bukhari Muslim, that a time for my ummah will come, they will allow, he, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned musical instruments with khamar, with all these other things. So then uh, when bro. I thought, and zina, bro. zina, yes. And, and then when I was thinking to myself, I'm like, you know, in astaghfirullah, Allah forgive, but in Jahiliyyah, all these things, if you think about it, they're interconnected. They are interconnected. Yeah. Like in a club, you won't see people dancing without music. There has to be a presence of music. So, Saad, ask, answer me this question, my bro. Yeah, whenever in your life you've come from, you've come. Uh, uh, sorry, you come from Jahiliyyah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. I'm not. I'm not gonna ask you about your Jahiliyyah, but your past. Yeah. You come. You. Yeah. Yes. Like me yes. as well. Now let me ask you something, bro. Everything that you did, I'm not asking you for you to tell me your sins. Yeah. Everything that you did in Jahiliyyah, which was wrong, was not music a partner. Yes, it was. Hundred percent. Me too. Music was a partner to everything in my life, which, 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 which I was doing wrong. Yeah, of course, sometimes there was, most of the time music wasn't because I, you know, I'd wake up to it, sleep to it, iron my clothes, eat to it, all that. But usually whenever there's a sin, the partner is always music. music. But you don't think I haven't been to, um, and I'm, 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 inshallah, this will go to, you know, inshallah, if, the, if this connects to the youth that, you're telling me that I haven't been to clubs, bro. You're mad. I used to perform in clubs. May Allah forgive me. And I've been there, I've seen everything, my bro. I've seen Everything, Achi. I've seen it all, bro. And this is the mad thing, yeah? <laughs> I was about sitting with brothers, yeah? And these are brothers in the game, bro. They are in the game. Okay. Yeah, they're in the shoot artists, bro. Yeah? And they're vocal only guys, you know? <laughs> and I was like to them, yeah, this hadith, they were like, yeah, I spoke to my sheikh, really, and bro, that hadith, you know, you really, it doesn't really vindicate. I went, what? They went, basically, yeah. I know whatever like this guy said this to me. He goes, <laughs> Basically, you know, the my chef told me that that all has to happen at the same time, and I went. So I'm a I'm a I'm a troll, Achi, yeah. So I got up and I went, hold on. I put my leg up on the chair. I I, I went, are oh, you telling me that I'm gonna have a guitar? I'm gonna be fornicating with them at the same time. I'm gonna be wearing a silk shirt, and I'm gonna be um, drinking liquor with what hands? Yeah, with my third hand. And that then it becomes thing. I went, brother, what are you talking about, bro? And then he started cracking up, going, oh, no, 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 no. I went, bro, please, man, don't give me that nonsense, bro. You get me? I, was like, please, please. I mean, it was ridiculous, bro. Like, it's ridiculous, Achi. And, you know, it's in, it, it, it insults your intelligence, bro. You know, it insults your intelligence, bro. Yes. Listen, if you're a person of knowledge, yeah, alhamdulillah, but can we not also, can we, can we remember that one of the first people to be thrown into the hellfire is going to be an island? Oh, yes. Now, I'm, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying all of them are like this. Of course not. I'm saying the majority are beautiful and we know that bro. Majority of people are good, bro. Otherwise the world would be in chaos. Yes. Allah, right? But all I'm saying is that is that listen, just because it's your desire, please don't put Islam's name on it. Yes. Like if, if somebody did if somebody did beatboxing or instrument share and said, Listen, I'm doing it, I'm doing my thing, allow me. Bro, I, I pray for you. 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, help you. Because I was there once upon a time. We, we empathize with people, man. We yes, pray yes. for them. But yeah. if, you're com- if you're coming out with confidence going, no, this is from the Islam. You're like, no, come on. No, no, don't do that, bro. Don't, don't bring your desire into this, man. Yeah. Please, like, listen, my bro. I'll tell you right now for free. I love music. I love music. I love it. I just stay, I've just stayed away uh, from it for, since 2011. Nice but it's my, personal, it's my personal sin, though, bro. It's my personal defect in my life. Like someone's, someone else has got this defect or someone's got a, 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 an alcohol problem, bro. Someone's got a drug problem, bro. Someone's got, uh, uh, you know, they, they like to be with lots of women. These are, everyone's got a problem. But it's how you, it's how you defeat that and, and you let go of it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is where, 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 where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests us, my bro. Because yes. Allah says in the Quran to the nearest meaning, when I guide you, do you really think I'm not going to test you? You think, you think I'm going to leave you alone? Yeah. Oh, no. You start getting tested the most. When you start practicing, and I'm sure you know this, and I know, I can tell you how I've been tested. Mm. My bro, every day is a test. You know, at the end of the day, bro, like all of these brothers, man, like most of them are men. Beautiful brothers, man. Mm-hmm. Beautiful brothers. I love them. Love them for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, man. Uh, and, 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 and as I said, ultimately, it's not even them. It's the people who listen to them. You look at the people who listen to them, they're the enablers, bro. And unfortunately, for their sake, the enablers here are Muslims. Yes, yes. Because non-Muslims are, are not listening to that, bro. Like, you know what? There's something very controversial, I say. I don't know. No, I'm not going to say it. Okay, go on. Go on. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. The people, get, like, my people will get upset about it and all that kind of stuff. Go on. Go on. But, but um, I wanted to ask you this. Like, you know, for these people that, okay, it's like for me, I can give you an example. Like, when the stage came to quit music, it was the hardest. I'll say the, hard, the most difficult thing that I had to leave personally was leaving music because I it was for me it was I was getting up listening to music subhanallah sometimes it would be like even walking then you know going to school coming back always I had tracks playing listening 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 but when obviously when the dean came into my life I had to now make a decision now is it this or you know Allah and his messenger so obviously I took the side of Allah and his messenger and I left it and but I, sometimes I talk to certain brothers and certain people and I try to let them know but then I realize that everybody is not at that level not everybody uh, I I personally think there's certain different strategies you gotta tell people or like let them know or let them see that in order it will click in their brain that so then they will want to leave music or give them alternatives. Uh, okay, if you leave music, like personally when I Subhanallah when I even stopped listening to it, I came across your nasheeds, Mashallah. The first one was Adele Hello. I think you released back in 2015, 2016. Yeah. 2015. Yeah. And I was like, so I was so amazed. I was like, Subhanallah, this is actually is more. I know because I like I, I'm not familiar with production like you know when it comes to you know sounds music but i'm com- i'm familiar yeah. to production when it comes to videos and stuff so i really appreciate uh, like it's for me I, like I, when i looked at you it gave me goosebumps i still remember to this day when i see you walking uh-huh. in the studio mashallah you put your headphones on i was like wow and i just i just hear the like the vocals going but that's really that's subhanallah real and even the message subhanallah what are you telling people you're just telling people to love you know like turning to allah like you know like and what lies like, i can't i can't even explain sometimes it's that's, that's how beautiful it is but what I'm saying is like, how can you let people know that there's such a, also another beautiful, like there's alternatives that are so beautiful instead of just listening to, you know, either music or music, mu- uh, like nasheed with musical instruments, you know? How is that, how, how can we na- let people, uh, you know, you need raise awareness or l- let them know, aware, you know, about... You know, that, that, that's a good question, my bro. Yeah. That's a good question, my bro. It's very difficult, bro. Like, mm. you know, for, for me, like in Ramadan, um, I'm not going to mention exactly what it was, but something happened where I was approached and it was a, it was a massive deal. Like, bro, it was probably the biggest deal that ever come, ever come my way. But the problem was, it was, there was an aspect of it, which would, would not have been pleasing to Allah. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and I rejected it. Right. And, mm-hmm. and people don't understand that I'm a self-employed full-time recording artist. And I do this all the time. This is my life, bro. Like audio is my life. So for me, I mean, so for me, I try to, every day, my bro, I'm thinking of how can I give content to mm-hmm. Muslims to not listen to something, to not listen to music or to not listen to people every day. And I've, this laptop, there's a laptop right in front of me here. It's filled with stuff. It's filled with stuff. And I can't wait to release it whenever, whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, mm-hmm. whenever the lockdown thing gets eases and all that, right? Mm-hmm. But my bro, the thing is that the truth, no matter my bro, is that the majority of Muslims listen to music. Yes. The majority of Muslims will 
in a heartbeat go to beatboxing before going to a vocal only machine. And some people may even think that is why some of us guys are so against the beatboxing because, oh yeah, come on, they know that people are gonna go to the beatboxing. Fine, man, like, if you think that, that's cool, bro. But let me tell you something right now. Wallahi, Allah is my witness, wallahi. The only reason we speak against beatboxing and instruments is because we love the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Bro, I didn't grow this beard for the fun of it. Yeah. Do you think I like to? Do you think I like, like to look like like with a beard? I like, I like, I like, I used to love it when I had a clean shave, bro. You get me? I used to love that. Yeah. But I do this for the messenger. I remember my dad. May Allah subhanahu wa taala give him jannah for those. Amin. 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 I remember my dad. My dad. My dad used to practice, but he didn't used to have a beard. And one day I walked in the room, and this is when I'm practicing. A few years into practicing, and my dad goes to me, not in a rude way. He goes, you know, uh, in Punjabi, he goes, uh, uh, I don't know what, where are you where are you originally from. I, I, my parents are my my mother's from Bihari, my dad's from Multan in Pakistan. Yeah, we're Punjabi. So my dad yeah. goes, ah, sir, Dari Munsa, a little bit, take it down a bit. And I went, and I went. Uh, he goes, you know, it looks it'll look better. It'll look better, you know. If you take it down a tiny bit, it'll look better. And I went, dad, you know. I said, dad, you know, my dad. I went, dad, you know, can I can I say something, my dad? When I go on, I go, dad. In Punjabi, I said, dad, you know, we're all gonna die, right? And my dad was like, yeah, of course we're all gonna die, Subhanallah. And I go, dad. Do you know the only visible sunnah is going to be the beard? Allah. The Allah. only, even women, even women can't even say, subhanAllah, that they'll have any visible sunnah, even though they're probably doing, they're doing lots of sunnah, mashallah, but Allah. no visible sunnah. I said, the only visible sunnah is going to be from a man, it's going to be a beard. And my dad stopped, stop, bro, my brother, wallahi, after that, my dad started growing his beard. Allah. May Allah and my dad, I mean, I mean, and when I saw my dad in his grave, it was very emotional because you know, obviously, he's my father. So he had his beard, and you know, and and, and I was like, Alhamdulillah, thank you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because everything good we do is from Allah, yes, and everything good we say is from Allah. Yes. And I said, Thank you, Allah, that you allowed me to say those words to my father. Because, bro, we love the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, bro. Like, mm. he's everything to us, bro. Like, he, this is why we defend him to the, to, 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 to the passion that we do. This is why we have not fallen into the trap that um, um, other religions have, where you know, they openly can insult their, 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 their people. Because we don't let that, we don't let that yeah. slide, bro. We don't let that slide. We'll never let it slide. Because we love the Prophet more than we love our mother, our father, and anybody, our children, everybody. Yeah, so yeah. if we really love him, my bro, if we really love him, my bro, why are we not following him? Yes, if we really love him, why are we not following him? If you were, everybody who, if, if I say this to everybody, would you like to meet the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Yes, they'll say. Would you like to be chilling with him? Would you like to be spending all your time with him? Yes. yes. But guess what? If you were chilling with him all the time, you won't be able to listen to music and beatboxing. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do then? What are you going what, what to, what are you going to sacrifice that time with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so you can listen to your favorite? Instrument artist or your beatboxer. Come on. No, you're not. Don't lie to yourself. You're not. And my bro, it's not against, again, I, I say this because I know people are like, oh, you know, stop speaking about my favorite artist. I'm not talking about your favorite artist. <laughs> I, I love your favorite artist. I've, I've seen all of them. I love them. I hug them. I love them. They're my brothers. But I'm talking about you. I don't care. Do what you want, brother. How about that? If you, if you, if whoever this goes to, do what you want. How about that? Go and listen to Drake if you want. I don't care. Do what you want. Go and listen to that. Go and listen to that guy six nine as well. Listen to anybody you want. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something right now. I just say this because I love you for the sake of Allah. What benefit have I got? What benefit have I got to say this? Aki? Nothing. Nothing. I've already, I already, I, I already, by the mercy of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, travel the world. I already do what I do. Nice I'm not speaking from the bottom. I'm not speaking from the bottom here. Alhamdulillah. I'm not speaking. Oh yeah. No, there's no ulterior motive for me. Mm, yeah. My ulterior motive is this Is that If they stop that Then we can work together Amazing How amazing is that? How amazing is that If we bring you content Like bring you content Which is like Wow Alhamdulillah Look at these brothers man Yeah How about we create How about we create our Hip hop industry then Like hip hop is now The biggest genre in the world uh, In the 80s it wasn't But now it is It's like they, Tupac, Yeah they made it they, but yeah, and everybody else who came before yeah. that, Grandmaster Flash, you know, all these kind of guys, you know, you know, um, uh, Easy. Uh, I can't remember. 
Easy E, yeah, the NWA. Yeah. Um, all them guys came through. They they did their music. Obviously, we know this is music full of profanity, by the way. Right. It's but now today it's it's today it's the most popular music. And to be honest with you, what have they done? What have they done? To, what have they shown of one of the most beautiful communities, the African American beautiful people, mashallah tabarakallah. Our brothers and sisters, mashallah tabarakallah, their rich heritage. What's hip hop done to their heritage? It's it's it, it's brought them down to strip clubs, Xanax and pills, and to stri- stri- uh, to, and to sex and drugs and everything. What, is it, what else has it done, Achi? And who runs their record labels? Not the black brothers, not the black sisters. Yes. The enemies of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who want to put out a message. How many conscious rappers do you know? There's none, hardly none. any, bro. And if some of them do filter through, right? If some of them do filter through, they still have to talk about certain things. Otherwise, their, their master won't push that music. No. So who's, who's ultimately free? Me? Who's obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or them who are obedient to their record label boss? Record label, yes. And and pushing out a message which is destroying that community. Exactly. My brother, you know, when you have such I'm giving an example of the music, by the way. Mm-hmm, I'm a yeah. strong believer that, that music hip hop has destroyed the community. And it will continue destroying that community. Yes, it will. Yeah. You get me? And, and 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 you can't deny that, bro. Like if anybody denies that. Tell me how your your role. Tell me how the biggest role model in the world is Kim Kardashian. La hawla wa Yes, very sadly true. Uh, the, 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 the biggest the biggest musician in the world is Kanye West and Drake, who throws up the six god. Come on, Aki, like let's really break it down. What are we dealing with, brother? Like what are we dealing with? We're dealing with a machine, bro. Shaitan yes. is not messing about, brother. Shaitan is not playing with us. Shaitan said to Allah subhanahu wa taala, "Look at the mercy of Allah." When he disobeyed Allah and he did not, and he did not bow down to Adam. Yes. He said, Allah, he's, 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 he's nothing. He's made of clay. He's nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm better than him. I'm better than Arrogance, him. right? And Allah found out and said, well, you know what? You're, 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 I'm gonna, you're, you're out of here. I'm, you're done. I'm, you're, every, you're done. You're finished. For me, you're outcasted, yes. that's it. You're outcasted. And he said, Allah, can I ask you something? And what did Allah say? No, Allah said, yes. Look at the mercy of Allah. Allah, Allah. Even to the shaitan. Even to the shaitan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, I will accept your du'a. What is it? He said, oh Allah, give me respite to the day of your milky armor. I will stand in, in front of all of them and I will make them go astray. Allah. I will make them stray from this deen. You just accept my du'a and do not please take me away before the day of your milky armor. And Allah said, your du'a is accepted. And whoever follows you will indeed be in the hellfire, just like you. My bro, this is the thing now, yeah? Is that the shaitan's job is to misguide. The shaitan's yes. mission, shaitan hates me and you and everybody who, who, who this will go to. He hates us, bro. He hates us with such a passion that we can't uh, explain. In Surah Al Hashr, in, in Ayah 16, uh, Ayah 16 or 17, uh, he, he, says, he says, Disbelieve in Allah to man. Man says, I have disbelieved shaitan. I've disbelieved in Allah. And Shaitan says, I am, you dis- Shaitan goes, you've disbelieved in Allah? I am free from you because I believe in the Lord of the world. Subhanallah. Look at the trickery, Akhi. Right. Look at the trickery, Akhi. So when, you're, when your favorite artist is throwing the sixth God up, who are you, who, who, who you, to- who you, you talking about Allah? Is he talking about Allah? No, he's not. No. You are falling. We, are, we have all fallen for that trap. You know, because I used to listen. To, I, I listen, used to listen to it. But Allah saved me. May Allah continue to save me. Amen. And may Allah found that I protect us, my bro. Amen. Because it, it, the truth of the matter is, my bro, is that I swear down on my life here. Yeah, lots of people disagree with me too. Lots of people have have their own. You know, they they like people more than me, which is fine because at the end of the day, in life, music, machines, whatever you want to call it, is subjective. You know. Some people used to love Michael Jackson. Some people used to hate Michael Jackson. Mm. Some people, some people like uh, Drake. Some people like hate him. Some people like Ed Sheeran. Some people hate. Him. Some people like me. Some people hate me. This is this is this is this is fine. Having that kind of, but by the way, with the music thing, obviously I would say don't listen to it. But I'm talking about machines as well. If you don't want to listen to something, that's fine. If you don't, if you disagree with my with me and my machines, that's fine. But you can't deny where I'm coming from. Yes. You can't deny that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not. 
agree with music and he would not listen to a beatbox track. If you could show me he would listen to a beatboxing track or whatever, I promise you I'll start using beatboxing myself because it gives you, a, it gives you an edge anyway. Yeah. Doing beatboxing gives you an edge anyway because you're, you are, are, are doing stuff where, brother, you don't, I could do a beatboxing track which will sound like a music track. Completely. Yeah? And at the end of the day, you'll be like, you'd say to me, what's the point of you even doing this? Just use music for goodness sake. You get me? But what I'm trying to say is that, is that if I go to somebody who listens to instruments, right? And I say to them, I want to play your track. I play it to them. And it's got no music in it. They're going to feel a certain way. They're going to be like, well, where's the music, man? Mm-hmm. Where's yeah. the beat, bro? bro? Mm-hmm. Now, but if I give them, if I give them a track, then, by the way, I buy an unknown artist with a beat on it, they're going to go, oh, I feel this one, mate. Oh, yeah, I feel this. Yeah. Because, because they, so you're so used to it. So now, if you've got a beatboxing track, for example, and you give it to people who, who, uh, who listen to music, by the way, they're going to listen to it because for them, it's, there's, there's no difference in it. Yes. They're like, yeah, it's got a beat in it. They've got a beat in it. It's sick. The majority of Muslims listen to music. They so do. who are you catering to? I didn't they? So what, what is the, where, is that, where is that going to? What is the objective behind that? Because kids are so impressionable, bruv. Kids are so impressionable, bruv. Yes, they are. Brothers are so impressionable, bro. They're gonna li- they're gonna listen to this stuff and go, oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna feel the vibe and all that kind of stuff. But guess what? Ultimately, when they go to school in the West or wherever, even in, in the all over the world, actually, people are gonna be like, oh, you know what? Listen to listen to your music. Uh, they're gonna listen to the music anyway. They're not gonna listen to the sheets. What I'm trying to say, my bro, is that you know, may Allah found that like make it easy for all of us. You know, I mean, I mean, it's, t- it's you know, my bro is tough, man. Like I swear, that it's tough. Like you know, for me, what he like. Every day, my bro, I want to go. I swear down, I have this struggle where I'm thinking, do you know what, man? I don't even know if I can even take this industry anymore because but the honest truth is that, um, you know, it's fake. That's the, the honest truth of the matter is fake. You know, Muslims are human beings at the end of the day. Like, you know, uh, I have got no friends in the Nasheed industry. What I mean by that is that there are no core friends of mine in this game. They are just mm-hmm. colleagues. They are just brothers. And I love them for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because they're my brothers in Islam. But they're not my friends. That makes sense. And that's a very hard thing to say, man. And it breaks my heart to say that. But I'm just being honest with you, bro, because ultimately everybody's got, everybody wants to win. It's a competition. The competition is very, very healthy. And I'm for it, bro. Yeah, wicked. But I'm not competing with anybody who does something against the, against the will of Allah. You are, not in my, you are not in my price bracket. You are not in my mindset. I don't really care. Whoever listens to you, whatever happens, so what? Even so if what? you've got big numbers, even if you've got big numbers, well done. Guess what? You ain't got bigger numbers than Drake. And you ain't got bigger numbers than a cat on YouTube too. So at yeah. the end of the day, that's true. What are numbers? Nothing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us all numbers. But it's about the fact of, it's about, it's not about quantity. It's about quality. Quality. You get me? Because brother, I, at the end of the day, go on, sorry. No, I just want to say, because like, the thing is, a lot of this, their music, if you if you even go back to it, there's no solid message that you're in a sheet sometimes, like I have them in my phone. I'm, I used to do a job as a delivery man, right? So I used to deliver clothes around my locality, like Toronto or whatever. But I will lie, when I used to, eat, like sometimes, you know, obviously I would listen to a lecture sometimes and, you know, sometimes you want to listen to a sheet, you want to, you know, driving or whatever. Yeah. So when I listen to your, your stuff, subhanAllah, it used to make me emotional. Like, you know, there's one in the sheet you had about Muhammad, sallallahu right? The way the way you're you're just you're praising Prophet Sallallahu and you're saying that I want to follow your Sunnah like you're you're creating that yearning to people that now they want to look. I remember that following you're listening to that nasheed, it made me want to go home, and like look up certain st- like stuff like a hadith on what's it called the that the different topics. But you created that zeal that yearning. May Allah may Allah reward you. And I was just thinking like you know like even I sent you the voicemail on WhatsApp. I'm like may Allah because I use I started using your background vocals for my for my you know whatever i used to produce content and stuff but i just say may allah bless this brother and I, so many reminders i listen to so many things i listen to and your vocal your nasheed is in the background and i say may allah whatever this video whoever it touches and it has i'm sure there's a lot of these videos they have like millions of millions of views and mashallah the background vocal is yours may allah, may allah accept all the work you did and this oh, yeah. is the true this is the real hasanat this is the real like the thing that People should be obviously working for, but you know, many, very few will take heed and we will know about this. But I, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna say something actually as well, Shad. Right? Is that yeah. um, you know, obviously, I wanna, I wanna spend, I wanna delve into this a bit more, and I will tell you why because I wanna clear everything up about this yeah. aspect of why we are so vocal against instruments and beatboxing, right? Because, because, because at the end of the day, you don't wanna alienate anybody. Yeah. You don't wanna feel like 
you're attacking people who do beatboxing or who do instruments. That's not that's not the that is not the message here. That's not the message. Yeah. That message that that is not the message here. I I I'll keep saying I'll, I'll say it until the end. I love everybody who does it. We don't we love the people who do it. We don't love what they do. And and but it's so deep, my bro. I wanna mm. I wanna request something with you, right? Yeah. Um is there any way, yeah, that we can um continue this conversation? We have to. Let's conclude. No, 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 no. Let's not conclude. Let's not conclude. Sorry. Let's um uh, let's pause. Yeah. And inshallah uh, tomorrow. Peace, Peace be, upon be upon you. You I start in the name of the most high King of all kings, the man.